Hello, it's Chaplin73 here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm here today with Steve Pinches, an artist from Bude. Um, I Hello, Steve. How are you doing? Hello. Um, I Good. Will, I'll crack on with the questions then, Steve, if that's okay with you. Don't want to take up too yeah, much of your time. So, who are you? What do you do? Um, where are you based? Um, my name's Steve to Pinch Pinches. I'm a jobbing artist. Uh, I do commercial work. And um, really, as a job in artist, what, what I basically do is I try and do anything somebody asks me to do. So whether it be a pencil sketch through to painting a 50-foot more wall, that's what we do like. Mm -hmm. um, I'm based in Bude in Cornwall. Um, I've been here for about 10 years. I owned a gallery here for probably seven years. I've now come on the more on the commercial side. Um, and, and that's me. Fab. Um, I, I mean, I, I know I've met you a couple of times at um, paint festivals and things, So, um, and I've seen you working, and I've seen a, a very diverse range of work that you do. Um, what advice would you give to somebody starting out in this day and age, um, trying to be a successful artist? Um, I think what it was, it's really difficult, obviously, at the time, um, but I would think that um, you've got to have a fantastic work ethic. Um, because you, as you know that in yourself that you can you can work a hundred hours and end up with nothing, or you can work three hours and end up a millionaire almost. So, so it's that kind of thing. It's a worth ethics, and what you've got to be able to do is work hard. Yeah. Um, definitely, which is, which is you know which we all do anyway. Work hard. Um, probably learn to accept rejection is, is is probably the biggest bit of advice I would ever give because. Um, you know, it, it happens to us all, it happens all the time, and uh, yeah, it can be a ball ache to be honest sometimes, but we love it because we're artaholics. So, as an artaholic, you know, it doesn't matter about the rejection, you have to just keep focused and keep going and, and put the hours in, um, get out there, throw your name about as much as you can, um, you know, and 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 and. And build yourself up. There's no point sitting there saying, "Oh, you know, I'm sitting at the kitchen table drawing pictures," and, and and not being able to go out there and show you all, and show what you can do, and tell them that you're the best at what 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 that is, you know what you are the best at what you what you do. And yeah. I think that will be my biggest thing. It's definitely you've got to throw yourself right into the lines, then almost. You yeah, know, I, th I think. It. I think in this day and age, you've got to be some sort of like entrepreneur as well as an artist because you've got to do your own marketing, you've got to do your own tech stuff, you know, there's a lot to it, isn't there? Oh, yeah, yeah. The art is probably the 10%. I think Banksy said that talent's 10% and the marketing and the, the, the you know, the entrepreneurship, it, it, it makes up everything else and obviously a little bit of luck now and then. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, so definitely it's every, every, you know, every angle. Yeah. It, 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 but again, it all comes down to putting in that 120% mm -hmm. and, and just keep keep working and just keep going and going and just, you know, even and take the knocks. That's yeah. what, it's really important that, you, that you're able to take the knocks because yeah. it's very easy to give up unless you're auto, auto, uh, autoholics like we are. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that would be my advice. Take the knocks, 110%. Make sure that you throw yourself out there Tell them you're the best and, 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 and go with it. Like Have faith in yourself, obviously, in your own work. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I, think, I think a lot of artists um, undervalue their art um, and, and don't think that they've got the talent to do what they're doing. So they're, they're very, they lack confidence. And I think, I think that's something you've got to be aware of is, is you've got to be resilient. And you've got to accept that you are going to get lots of rejection as an artist. Oh, lots and lots of rejection. Yeah, I think that's probably why you have to, you, you know, put in for everything. Put in for, for you know, your local shows. Put in for your, you know, any, anything that you can find to throw yourself at. You know, we do the jams together, you know, just to get out. And you, you know, you get nothing but your name's out there. People know you for what you do like and what you, for what you are doing. Yeah. Or what you're trying to do, and, you know, and, and, and it's really important to do that. It's been a strange year this year um, that I didn't even get out to one in the end, but but yeah, so but yeah, it's 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 hard, isn't it? And, it is. and you've got to accept the fact. You've got to accept that as a factor thing that you know that it's going to be hard. 
And if you know it's going to be hard and, and then when it becomes easy, then you think, oh, maybe it's not as hard as it should be. But, so. Well, I think, yeah. I think the important thing to take away from that is the fact that a lot of people who are classed as overnight successes have been working for years to become an overnight success. You know? Oh, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think when Grayson Perry, when Grayson Perry won the, um, the turn or deal, he came second, I don't think he actually won it. No, I think he did win it. But he, um, he said he, he'd been working in his gallery for 20 years and somebody walked in and told him that he was nominated. And then all of a sudden, Grayson Perry is the overnight success, the young lad who did well with it, you know what I mean? So it just shows you that the amount of commitment that, um, that, that that's needed, yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Definitely. And work hard on it. So yeah, cool. you live in Sunny Bude on the north Sunny coast Bude, of Cornwall? Yeah. <laughs> you could probably hear you could probably hear the rain bouncing off the roof. That's why That's I said sunny view. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, has where you live influenced how you work and what you, what you paint? Um, well, it's a beautiful part of the world, as you know. But um, you know the, the, the colours are crazy. And if you painted the sky some, sometimes, people wouldn't believe that that was the sky. The colour of the sky, it's it's up. Beautiful and bizarre, um, but it really it's, it's quite a double-edged sword, really. I think for me personally, it becomes um, yeah, it's great for selling. You know, we have the tourist sound, and when I do seaside work, you know, we can do our way through that touristy thing. But when I'm thinking out of the box and I'm doing things that probably ain't as as seaside as such, that mm -hmm. it becomes a uh, yeah, the, the, it can become a bit a bit weird. Like we did a, a fantastic um, Boris Johnson in Bude not long back that caused a lot of trouble, right? But yeah, so yeah, it's it, no, it's fantastic. And of course, um, I'm, I, I absolutely love Naive Art. I'm a great fan of Alfred Wallace, mm -hmm. who uh, uh, the, the um, St Ives, yeah, fanatic character of everything. And, and 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 yeah, so I take some inspiration from some of his work and. Again, his commitment, because if you bought him a stool, he'd paint the stool. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it, it really does affect it. Like, and I think if I was probably in Birmingham, I probably wouldn't get the business that I actually get while I'm in view. So, yeah, it, 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 I, I am influenced by it. I'm influenced by the colours. I'm influenced by the war, the warmness of it. Yeah, I love it. And, and uh, yeah, so, yeah, but it is that double-edged sword. If I'm going to do something a little bit out of the box sometimes it upsets some people but hey it's no sort of thing as bad publicity is it that's what so, they say. yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so like i said earlier you, you you've had a you've got quite a diverse range of art that you do if what would you say has been the highlight of your um what you've what you've created and if if a person was to see one piece by steve pinches which piece would you like it to be that you think sums up you more, you know? Yeah, yeah, I think um, it's an odd question because, you know, I hate every piece I do, really. But um, I think, <laughs> well, yeah, you know, but I think it becomes, um, I think one of my proudest moments, I think, was I did a, a moon, I did it as a time lapse with a great, uh, with a great photographer called Chris Small in Butte promotion and earth photography and he set up a four day time lapse mm -hmm. and we did that and then uh, Posca got hold of that and was able for that we was able to um, they, they, they gave me a slight sponsorship with that and uh, provided me with pens and stuff and I did some work with them that was quite a highlight but I think also I did I've done some community work in view that I was on um, spotlight for the local news so that 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 was maybe some quite highlights, but I think the piece that really sums me up is I um, I went to to bring the paint in Leicester a couple of years back, and I did a a, a strange rabbit, mm -hmm. and it, it's it's kind of mixed up and twisted. And I think for me, if if you wanted to sum my art up, look at the strange rabbit, because it's probably yeah that's probably how my head works. So yeah, hello. Oh, I remember, I remember that moon um, time lapse painting. That was yeah, yeah, it was quite cool, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, if you want to check it out, Steve Pinchess Artist Facebook, and yeah. you'll see the video at the top. You know, so, so yeah, well, that, that's. I'll we'll, we'll put a link. 
I will put a link to your Facebook and everything below um, when I... Yeah, that'd be fantastic. Like, you, know, you can see that video, but I really enjoyed doing it. And I think it was how professionally it was edited and put together. I think it really worked well. Like, so, yeah, yeah I think uh, for me, it's probably my favourite piece. But if you want to see really how my head works, go and have a look at the rabbit in Leicester, because that is a bit strange. But I like it. It's also, actually, it's also in Western Supermare on the wall as well, in Faces, oh, right. which I, I believe is cool. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's cool. Brilliant. Um, oh, yeah. so, so, what are your plans for the future? Have you got any future projects you'd like to share with us today? Um, yeah, yeah, we've got a few things coming up. We've got, um, obviously, the commercial stuff we can't really talk about because, it, it, you know, it, that with it. Um, but we've got we've got the UK collab thing in London coming up next year, which I'm looking forward to. Right. Um, obviously, yeah, the spray jams. Hopefully, they'll be back running again next year. You know, if we can get on with that. And uh, I've got a I've got a a solo exhibition in in Bude at the Castle, which I'm going to put in some new work there. In fact, this one behind is is, is going to go in, and they're all going to be that size, all on wood. I've got that coming up. Um, I'm off to India at the end of next year, so I'm going to be doing, you know, for some inspirational things there. Just yeah. for myself, hopefully getting out into the schools and that a little bit out there and doing some, some spray, you know, if we can't get all the spray, you know, we'll do some more real or some kind of work yeah. there. So, yeah, that's about it, really, coming up. I mean, it's, it's a funny year. We lost everything, didn't we? Yeah. You know, in the, in the, in the, you know, in that, in the sense of the art, you know, it's it's a bit kicked, don't we? Yeah, I, I think I think we've kind of lost momentum, haven't we? It's um, it's, it's yeah, it's been, it's been a rather long pause, shall we say? A real long pause, and I think that's another thing we were talking about before about the artist, um, for young artists, is he's trying to keep that momentum going all the time, always pushing to be, you know, so people see it, think, oh, I recognise that, I recognise that. So to have that big pause. Mm -hmm. Really, it's been quite difficult. Like, you know, I've been lucky enough. I've had a, uh, uh, you know, some, some I, I did some uh, beer labels and some, some pub work, you know, more your work in Butte. But, I mean, apart from that, it really has been a hard one. Yeah. yeah. But we'll get through it. You know, we it's do. just another, big, yeah, big, another long, big rejection. But, but this <laughs> time it lasted a long time. Like, so, yeah, yeah, yeah cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I think that, that, brings to a head of you know the <clears throat> the thing about being resilient as an artist it's um yeah 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 for sure you've got to be able and, you to know and it. i really have got a roll with it haven't we? <laughs> you know but, yeah. no, but it's all right and you know at the end of the day i could have a proper job and that'd be terrible you know i'd have to get up, I'd have to get up at six in the morning like this is my starting time so yeah i don't want no proper job going on like that no, no. Cool. life life could be a lot worse well, oh, thank yeah, you, sure. thank you, Steve, for taking the time today um, out of your busy day um, painting and creating. Um, it's been a pleasure talking to you as always, and um, I wish you all the best for for next year. And um, look forward to see what comes out of your trip to India. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah, it'd be cool. I think. But um, no, thanks for having me, and uh, hopefully we'll see in the flesh in the new year somewhere. Well, let's hope cool. so. Let's hope so. Well, thanks a lot, Steve. And um, that's all from me for today. Um, if you like what you've seen today, subscribe below. I will be interviewing some more artists in the very near future. Um, so, yeah, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for listening and tuning in today.